After months of beta testing, BitTorrent has released an all-in-one storage, sharing, and syncing service for all of your files, no matter the size. But don't call it a cloud service. Now, a couple months back, we talked to them directly about shedding their reputation as copyright scoff laws, and BitTorrent Sync, as it's called, seems like a step in that direction while staying true to their peer-to-peer -peer roots. What it offers is unlimited file syncing that you can use for backup or to share personal media with other users, but it achieves this in a slightly different way. The sync and transfer is still based on peer-to-peer, -peer, so you can transfer files at the maximum speed, and for the same reason, it can handle large, high-quality files. Once you've downloaded and installed the app, it'll provide you with a folder secret. This is what you'll use on other devices to ensure that your files will sync automatically across all of them. This private key is also what's used to encrypt all your traffic, but you can share it with others or generate a read-only or one-time secret if you want. So it's not exactly a cloud service. It's a peer-to-peer -peer mechanism that can be used to essentially create your own little mini cloud. Depending on your needs though, Dropbox or Google Drive might be enough for you. I use Google Drive to stash my script for production, for example, but both have limits if you don't want to pay. Two gigs for Dropbox and five for Drive, five also for Apple's iCloud and Amazon's Cloud Drive. For those of you who tend to share bigger files, there's Mediafire, which allows 50 gigs for free, but the free version has ads on it. Gross. You can also only download stuff one folder at a time. Similarly, Mega offers 50 for free, but the launch was fraught with slowness and other issues. It has improved since then. They've added support for passwords, because initially users had no way of changing their password. But when I tested it, it was still a little bit slow. You also need to go through a storage reseller to buy additional space which is kind of weird. So for most people, unless you're a super fan of Kim.com, it's probably more trouble than it's worth. What storage service, cloud or not, do you trust with your files? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to submit your video responses for your chance to get your pretty face on our show. Or dares, we accept dares too. Scott's just looking for an excuse to snort more condoms. It's a problem. For TFN, this is Annie.